Good morning. My name is Trent Jenkins. Welcome to The Daily Dose. Yesterday, we were in Psalm chapter three, and we learned of how David was trying to get delivered from his enemies. Let's take a quick look. It says, but you are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. To the Lord I cry aloud, and he answers me from his holy hill. Well, where is he at and what's going on? We look back at 2 Samuel chapter 15, verse 30. But David continued up the Mount of Olives, weeping as he went. His head was covered and he was barefoot. All the people with him covered their heads too and were weeping as they went up. His head was covered, a sign of sorrow. He was weeping. He was mourning, not just his throne, but what he had done and where his country was at. He was on God's holy hill, the Mount of Olives. Yesterday, we talked about how our sin, that shame leads to our voice being silenced into leading a life of seclusion and then ultimately running scared. But it's the element of repenting. And here we find David repenting, repenting for what he had done He was mournful. He was turning towards God. And then we read this in Psalm chapter three and it just makes all the more sense. And the Lord, I cry aloud. He answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear the tens of thousands drawn up against me on every side because now he has put his trust once again in the Lord. He has taken a stand. And ultimately, we talked about needing to take action. And one of the things we need to do is begin to take a stand and realize that our footing relies on God. That our our, our stance needs to be one uh, of defense and attack. Attack against the enemy and relying on God to be able to give us the right commands. And that's what David does. And then he sets his feet firmly planted and he commands his armies and they go against this whole group, Absalom ultimately ends up dying. Where are you in your life that you need to take a stand? Where have you let your character slide? Where have you let your leadership in your home or in your business or with your friends begin to slide? The first thing we need to do is to begin to repent. And repentance isn't necessarily always this matter of just uh, wailing before God. It might be a need for you in your life, but it's a recognition of whose we are and who we need to listen to. We say, God, ultimately I'm yours and I wanna live my life your way. And then we take that stand and I look to Ephesians chapter six and realize what we need to take a stand against. And it says this in verse 10, finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power, put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. You see, the devil was scheming against David to be able to take his entire throne, but he needed to take a stand. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. Do you know where your truth is at? With the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert, always keeping on praying for all the saints. Wow. When we look at this and this whole element of where David was at and he was getting ready for battle in the physical sense, and we need to realize that we need to get ready for battle in the spiritual sense, that we need to take a stand against the enemy in our life and wherever it may be prevailing in you, in your life, take a stand. Don't let sin or shame rule your life, but get fitted with the armor of God so that you can be encouraged and be ready to fight the good fight.